What's going on you guys? How's it going this afternoon? It's David here. It's just about 12.45 in the afternoon. I'm watching Joseph peel a, one of those clementines or basically oranges. the cutest cutie mandarin oranges. The oranges. Or yeah, I know buddy. I'm having such an amazing day today. Almost perfect, except for I've still got this wheelchair thing that I'm using. Soon enough. Soon enough. We'll get rid of that thing. I got you be back. Okay, buddy. You know, Bill Cosby used to say something. Kids say the darndest things. He used to do a bit about that. And it's pretty funny. They definitely do. You want to come up here with Daddy? Yeah? Careful, bud. Awesome. All right. This is my Joseph. And this, I'm going to show them you my orange. My <laughs> I orange. I know, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to steal your orange. Hop off to the side. We'll just do like this. That's a whole lot of cute right there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can't answer for yourself. <laughs> the other day I took a picture of him and he's like, <laughs> his, his hair was like coming down, you know, in like a thing here and he was like leaning to the side and he looked really cool. Looked cool because you know he's my son so you know he can't be cool. He can only look, have moments of looking cool, which I don't anymore. We're just hanging out today. He was watching my iPad and I decided to do a video real quick. He's going to be going home in one 10 day. days, I no, think. One more day. One more day. Tomorrow he goes home. Mm -hmm. It's been really fun having him though. He's been here for how long have you been here now? Do you know? He's been here about 10 days. Maybe a little longer. I've had a blast with him. I know that's for sure. I've had fun having him here. But it's kind of a bummer that I can't like do things with him. You know, like get out of the house like I used to with him. And beat him up all the time. And no. I don't get to beat him up anymore. I don't get to... You know, just the things that we used to do. And... One of the things after I was diagnosed that he said was, what did you want to do with daddy? You don't remember? Me and Joey, when he was quite a bit smaller, but you know, even, I guess it was two years ago, he would have been two. So he would always want to take a shower with me. So I just, you know, okay, go on in. And I'd give him a shower. And he would always say, when I, after I got diagnosed, he's like, Dad, when can I take a shower with you again? <laughs> Remember that? What? When you were asking when you can take a shower with me again? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not in a hurry for that because showers hurt me physically. The dirt creates a protective layer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I... That's, you know, even when I was healthy and had my, thank you, sir, had my balance as good as it was. You tried to call Mama when you're done with the video. Okay. And I would still, you know, be extremely nervous. I'd want to make sure that everything was as safe as possible for him. So i try to talk him into just taking a bath with himself, and then I would take a shower afterwards. I'm going to get the bucket. Okay, bud. Where did you put it? It's over on my table over there, buddy. Oh. But he's asked me a couple times. But he's also asked me, when can I start sleeping with you again, Daddy? No. Yes, you have. So last night, you crawled up into bed with me. And, and you said that. Okay, Joe. He crawled into bed with me last night.
last night, and I know that he can't sleep with me yet. I'm not comfortable with it. Yet. I don't. I don't want to do anything to him that can hurt him. You know, the seizures or <coughs> rolling over on him. I want to be kind of more 100% before that happens, you know? Or at least about 10%. Sorry. Sorry. But I want to be better before, you know, I can feel I comfortable. Pizza, Sweet. You love some pizza, huh? Yeah. But this time I'm not, I'm not going to eat it. Okay, that will make me puke. Okay, you sit down, Daddy's going to do this video, okay? You know, we are both. Doing. Okay, then get up here. But don't get up again. Only when I need my drink. Okay. Well, let's. But anyhow, I just wanted to come by today because... My last video was kind of pissy. I was being kind of grumpy about the morning, but I don't like leaving. I don't want to leave my day. That all I, the only video I do today is a grumpy video, so I figured I'd come in here and be a happy video. But then something grumpy happened. So I don't know if I can be positive. Well, it's pretty easy when you got a face like that to look at, huh, Joey? And hold on, guys. I'm hold on, my, guys. I'm gonna pause my. But you know, um, Paisley had a a trip to Silverwood, which is was a musical camp thing. It was a field trip in June, and they scheduled the school scheduled a a discussion about it with us on the phone last week and that was today and today they today they called and it was basically predetermined that Hazel wasn't going to be allowed to go and that really kind of stinks for Hazel because she's been getting better and better not every day she's not been doing you know, getting getting to 100%, which she will soon, I'm sure, but she's been getting better and better and doing things more on top of things and being more diligent about getting chores done even. And less willing to yell and more willing to cooperate and being something that I say to all my kids is, you need to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. She's been trying to be part of the solution, I can tell. And it just kind of stinks that that's going to happen this, week, this year for her. But I've started looking. And by the way, it's 8.08 into the video, so... I started looking at, you know, stuff we can start doing, or this summer that we can go do. And hopefully by this summer, I have my, my van, my Sprinter, or for that matter, my 1934 Hyundai or whatever, I don't know. But hopefully by the summer I'm able to, you know, get up and go out to the car and we can take a drive to somewhere and have a great weekend out. But, you know, it just kind of stinks that they took that away from her. And it is what it is. You know, hopefully that she doesn't lose it over it, but... Hopefully she doesn't lose the ground that she's gained from it. But anyhow. I just want to talk about that a little bit. So, I kind of felt like my last video was left on a negative. You know, I was kind of being negative. And I didn't want to be like that. And as I've told before, I'm, these videos aren't for... I guess they are for you guys. Because, you know, whatever. But I want to have these to look back on. As the, fight, the fight that I've gone through has been a really hard fight. Internally, externally, personally, emotionally, for my children, for my kids, for my family, for everything. So I kind of did this just so I'd have it to look back on. And I didn't want to leave this morning's video as being negative because 
it was a negative experience, but it ended completely positive because she was left in such a good mood and I gave her a hug and I gave her a kiss on the forehead and I don't know. I'm just talking, I guess. Sorry. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure you guys go to bed. Better every day. And smile as much as you possibly can today. I love you guys. Have an amazing day.